playing a cricket game. Tell me how you're dreaming. Ha, you've got to be kidding. Troubles are middle name. We're protected well by those guardian angels on high. The closest we got here to someone watching over us are those guards to that dirty prison cell. anything, Father Tormund? No, Father. In this season, the fish don't come up to this point of the river. <laughs> but if there is no fish, what are you doing with a fishing line? Oh, well, I think that sooner or later, one of the fish will say, let's go up the river and see Father Tormund at the mission. So I wait. If no fish comes, in a way it serves me right. Of course, of course. <laughs> no fish. <laughs> Zerg! The United States is a big country with many, many states. How many states are there for this? This is a very interesting question. I asked myself, and um, it's um, it's uh, almost uh, yes. Uh, there's uh, uh, yes, that's right. More or less uh, 51. Now, in the United States, there are some very fundamental things. And one of them is... Bad boys! Very good, children. Fantastic. Now, who was the most famous baseball player of all time? Jody Mayo! Fantastic. <laughs> who won the last series? Yay! Yay! <laughs> Very good, children. I love you all. Are you ready to become champions? Yeah! What a marvelous teacher. He always manages to involve them so much. He told me he has a lot of experience. Has he taught for many years? Mm, many times, surely. The other day, he was explaining the miracle of Lazarus, but the children you didn't understand. So, he had the brilliant idea to mime the whole scene. There are no doubts about it. Well, as of tomorrow, we begin to practice. You were marvelous, Father. <laughs> Father Zacharias. I need to talk to you. Very urgent. Ah, okay. What's up, Orso? The problem is this. That we all are going nuts here. Zach, I find myself talking to flowers. I seem to understand what the lizard birds say. 
Zach, I talk to myself. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? It just means that, that you're happy. It's crazy too. After two weeks in the depths of the jungle here, he comes fresh and smiling. Who was this guy? The mythical Nikoya warriors from the high mountains. Legend has it that they keep the secret of El Dorado, the Maya's golden city. They say they are headhunters, but they didn't do any harm to Rafael. Artists and madmen are favored by God. Did you know that, Father? <laughs> Rafael. Oh. Ah, look! He mistook you for Rockefeller. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, what are you doing here? No one is allowed in the archives. Go back to church or you will be punished. You cannot remain here. I told you to go. What do you want? Your book. Never. This book cannot leave this place. It has held the secrets of Brother Bartolome de Las Casas for 500 years. And damned will be the one in hell who reveals this secret before 1,000 is no longer 1,000. We're not a monk. Or death itself. things that I teach them. It's a question of culture, concepts. Father, <laughs> will you teach our Jody made a story? No. No, 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 no. Father also, are you a new teacher today? Yeah. And I want all of you to pay full attention to me. We will discuss a very important subject. Sex? What is sex? <laughs> sex? Well, 
Once upon a time, there were Adam and Eve. <laughs> Calm down, kids. Be good and keep quiet, huh? I tell you how babies are born. Babies are carried by storks. <laughs> storks? <laughs> what storks have to do with sex? No. Did the stork carry you too? No. It took a big jumbo jet to carry him. <laughs> <laughs> For Father Zack, a vulture was enough. Father also, wait, you know it. Beth? Okay, it's enough for today. Oh! Run off and go. Oh! Jesus, teaching kids. Well, the days is a tough job. I told you, it's a question of culture. Father also, Father Zach. Brothers, I need your help. Father Torment has chained himself up like Houdini. He swallowed the key and decided to throw himself into the river. It's a typical mystical crisis. But what can we do, brothers? Houdini? Why? Why are you leaving? You see, we have uh, the problem of conscientious objection. You do understand, don't you? And where are you going? On the road to Damascus. Then, on the way, stop by in town, please. It's market day tomorrow. Well, why must we go to the market? To sell Father Raphael's paintings. The tourists love them very much, and he's, he's convinced he'll become famous one day. Father Raphael. They are worth at least $10 each. Don't let anybody cheat you, brothers. Brothers, what do we do about Father Torment? <laughs> well, we'll think about it. But in the meantime, don't let him jump in the river. Because uh, his fate might not be enough to save him. Zach, haven't we got everything? Of course. And uh, you haven't forgotten to pack our lunch, have you? No, it's right there in your rucksack. Jobs! Jobs, you blood! You blessed creature. I will miss you. <laughs> but before I come back, you must promise me to say three Hail Marys each day. You taught him a good lesson. You're a tough guy, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rupert, Wait. Professor Talbot has finished to design for description. He seems very satisfied. He will be even more satisfied when he sees what I have brought him. To the villa, senor? Brother Maximilian was right. This is the proof that the treasure of Bartolome de las Casas is another simple legend. In the day of our Lord, 14th of July, 1532, 
that my presence in the town of Baruca, 32,000 natives were converted and handed over to me their precious belongings, an immense treasure for the glory of Christ, the King's Church. This is wonderful, Rupert. One year of research has given us unexpected fruits. In this case, we rarely show text, the legend. That monk converted and gathered the wealth of entire populations. The Asiris, the Quincus, the Eurystice. He accumulated an immense fortune that Carlos I, King of Spain, waged for in vain. The treasure must still be here. I hand this diary and the map to Father Clementino so that when men will be worthier, they can come back here and build a temple of peace. God, forgive my sins. The iron that tortured our Lord will transform itself in gold one day for the glory of God. <laughs> There's no map here. I think that Brother Bartolome sent the diary to his superiors in Spain. I gave the map to Father Clementino so that he could keep it hidden in his mission. This book is precious because the monks have managed to keep it a secret for 500 years. The King of Spain's generals, without any indications, looked in vain for the treasure, slaughtering entire populations. find this map, even at the cost of turning every mission in this country upside down. I am very excited, Rupert. You did a fine job. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had company. I just thought I'd drop by before I went to the market. You're not interrupting us at all. On the contrary, I was about to send someone to come and get you. I want to finally introduce you to the archaeologist Rupert Stock from Berlin University. As you know, he's collaborating with us on our great project. My uncle speaks very highly of you. I hope I haven't disappointed you. On the contrary. Well, uh, welcome. Make yourself at home. How long will you be here for? It depends. He's going to be here until the end of the project. He brought this from Europe. Oh. It's marvelous. Incredible finding, isn't it? And damned in hell shall be the one who reveals this secret before a thousand is no longer a thousand. What does that mean? The expert is Professor Klaus Witz. He will explain it to us. Hey, boy. Do you want a banana milkshake for free? Do you monks always have to ask such intelligent questions? <laughs> well... Keep an eye on our paintings here while we go get uh, something to eat. Watch out, just in case somebody wants to buy one, don't take less than $10 a piece. Fifteen, fifteen. Okay, fifteen dollars. Hey, relax. You're in good hands. You know, I'm the best one around here. And why don't you go to Ramon at my name, you know? He makes the best milkshakes. What's your name? Free old kid. Everybody knows that. Watch out for fakes, Michaela. This country is full of them. I know that, Professor Clashworth. That's why I brought you along. You're my guarantee. Hello, Ramon. The clear kid that says you can't feed two poor monks without ripping them off. Which Creole kid? They're all Creole around here. Uh, you know the one uh, that sells the paintings? Oh, I know that one. Hasn't paid me for three months. You gonna pay? Brother Jack, <sighs> let's go. Okay. Wait a moment, Father. Ramon is a good Christian. Have a seat right here. I'll take care of the rest. 
He might uh, not be money sold cooking, but uh, at least there is nobody to tell us when you eat, when you sleep. It's our first taste of freedom. Ah, traffic, pollution, chaos. This is the life. I can't wait to get this thing off my back and... And, uh... <laughs> I know her. Señorita Michela, I have prepared some mango ice cream, the one you like so much. Oh, thank you, Ramon. I'll come and have some before I go home. What a woman. You're telling me about it. She comes here every Tuesday, a real beauty. But what do you know of women and fashion? You cannot understand it. No! Here's some pizza. Yes. Hey, Ramon! Hi, Ramon, Papi, how are you? <laughs> come on, baby, come on. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay. Ramon, it's the 15th of the month. You forgot it once more? I told you, I won't pay anymore. <laughs> but I told you that if you don't pay, nobody else will want to pay. And without an insurance, who will pay for all the damage? What damage? <laughs> what damage? What damage, boys? Show him! <laughs> Don't get involved. It's a private matter. <laughs> so, Ramon, have you got the concept? <laughs> will pay for all the damage if you're not insured. <laughs> Brother Jack, yes. what's the Bible say about the insurances? Well, versically, chapter 22 textually states that he who breaks must well, pay. Brother Zach, yes. they broken how beats. <laughs> Listen, look at these fabrics. Aren't they beautiful? I know nothing about fabrics, Miss Michaela. Michaela, they are very beautiful, aren't they? Everything for a dollar. And I even have some beautiful paintings today. Thank you, but not today. I can't buy something from you every time, you know. Please. Please, let me show you. Come on, right this way. Professor, look at these canvases. These are reproductions of Bartolome de la Casas' drawings, just like the ones in the diary that Rupert brought from Europe. How can that be possible? Ah, you've changed your mind. I told you I'm the best. Now where did you get these paintings? Beautiful, aren't they? Two guys left them here, but now they've disappeared. It's incredible. They really are the same ones. How much for the paintings? Well, they are rather rare paintings. And as you see, they're extremely well made. See? Even today, we bought something from you. Adios. Bye. Do it, 
hundred dollars. Hey, don't you want the others as well? Do you have any shillings, my friend? I must pay the damages. You did damages, you gotta pay. Where's the cash? It's okay, Father. It's okay. Sir. It's all right. It's all right. Good boys, you can go now. Go in peace. Just remember, the next time I won't be so easy on you. Hey, boys, you did a good job. I didn't know there was a congregation fighting monks around here. How can I repay you for what you've done? Well, make us. Banana milkshake. Hey, kid. Ah, excuse me. Sorry for being late, but we had uh, a pleasant surprise. Here is your uh, milkshake. Now, the milkshake ain't good enough anymore. And have I got a pleasant surprise for you. Your two paintings went off like hot buns, and I want a percentage. Hey, you didn't get ribbed off, did you? I told you. I told you. Fifteen dollars a piece. One hundred dollars a piece. What do you think? Aren't I the best or what? One hundred dollars a piece for those paintings? What fool would pay two hundred dollars for those paintings? Then it wasn't even my portrait. She only bought two of them. Hey, look, there she goes, right over there in that car. You see her? no doubt about it. Whoever painted these canvases used more than just their imagination. They had to have seen the Christ and the idol. The details are too precise. Well, this confirms my theories. This is the first time I feel that we are very near to an outcome. Michaela. Michaela, what's the matter? If my father were alive, he'd be proud of you. I remember the evenings we spent planning and organizing our expedition. He was so sure we'd succeed. And then that plane came, swallowed his hopes and him. But maybe his dream will be realized. greatest pre-Columbian archaeology museum will bear his name, which you must try to forget. You're right. I'm going to put all my energies into this. And now, we must find that painter. Okay. But go and relax. Go down to the garden, have some tea. Professor Clausewitz, he will accompany you. I will join you in a minute, all right? told me that your niece would take part in this expedition. She's just decided now. You heard it yourself. Could you have raised some objection? This complicates everything. It seems to me that you are forgetting that it is Michaela who pays for your trips. It is she who finances the expedition. And it is she who has inherited everything from my brother. This matter is closed. Remember, you are well paid to do your job only. Now all you have to do is just find the painter. Do you have any ideas? Huh? What a setup. These people must eat caviar for breakfast. Might, but it's too fishy to be. You know, $200 for Raphael's painting seems to me 
something a madman will do rather than a rich man. Would you stop thinking like a beggar? Haven't you learned? Rich people are extravagant. Just let me do the talking and we'll sell them all. How can I help you, fathers? The Lord has called upon us and said, knock and the door will be open to us. You have an appointment with my Lord? Of course, my son. Thank you. The forest of the central Mephis is infested with snakes and, and terrible insects. Furthermore, it is a home of the savage Nikoya, the headcutters. I would not go along with this expedition if I could avoid it. Professor, my father tried the same things to stop me from going with him. And I never saw him again. Maybe if I'd gone with him, he'd still be alive. Today. And you might be dead, too. You're as stubborn as a mule, my Michaela. It runs in the family, it seems. <laughs> The two fathers have an appointment with my lord. Oh? Long time no see. I don't believe I've had the pleasure, father. Oh, in fact, our mutual friend, Ramon, failed to introduce us down at the market, but of course that can change right now. So what brings you here today? <sighs> uh, business. The price of $200 for the pain and things that you pay surprised me very much. Well, you didn't think that was enough, father? Of course, but... Uh, you see, the paintings that you bought, the two paintings that you have make our collection a collection. Without these, um, these others don't mean anything. That's right. That is why we have come today to offer you these paintings at the same price, of course. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Those two paintings were particularly interesting to me. I don't know quite what I'd do with those. Why not? They're the same to me. <laughs> no. The paintings I bought were of the forest where my father's plane crashed. He was looking for the treasure of the Mayas, hidden by Bartolome de las Casas. I'm sure you know this story. <laughs> well, not in detail, but... Uh... Oh, a treasure of gold and precious stones of incalculable value. No one has ever found them yet. <sighs> Evil gold. But we are only looking for the scientific purpose. Oh, rare objects of art, uh, of priceless cultural value. Who is the painter? You? Or your friend? Oh, neither. <laughs> it's Father Raffaello, one of the brothers uh, from the mission in San Rolando. We'd like to meet him. Is it possible? <laughs> Father Raffaello! <laughs> Father Raffaello! <laughs> he, he died! Uh, uh, yes! Uh, <laughs> he's not breathing anymore. <laughs> he, he's dead. No, yes, he's dead by now. <laughs> <laughs> what a pity. A real pity. Every time. Every time I let you do the talking, we end up in trouble. Why can you keep that big mouth of yours shut? So this is the thanks that I get from you for having sold all of the paintings. You must be dumb. Was I the only one who heard the story of the treasure? They are millions and millions of dollars waiting for us. And the only one who knows where they are is Father Raphael. And you go and tell everybody, understand? No! I didn't do anything. I didn't tell anybody. You lie. You lie all the time. I swear to Madonna I was telling the truth. Oi, boys. Always arguing, you two. Mm -hmm. so we were just considering your commission. What are you talking about? Well, we have made uh, you a partner in our business. It's uh, the plan ready? I told you three weeks. And anyway, have you got the cash? Uh, not so fast, my friend. We haven't even closed the deal yet. Unless you're willing to lend us a helping hand, are you? How can I lend you a hand if I don't even know what you're on about? You will just have to trust us. For the moment, it must be kept a secret. Just imagine a treasure worth billions is at stake. What? What? You just said that you made him a partner. Uh, I don't want to know anything, you know. I trust you, I trust you, really. Uh, so what do you need, boys? 
Everything you ever for a trip into the jungle. Jungle? Oh, it's no problem. Look, what you need first is a camouflage suit. And, uh, oh, some, something to eat. You never know. And uh, a mosquito net. Of course, a mosquito net. I got one. I got one. Yeah. And uh, machete. Machete. It's all. It might be dangerous, but you have to have it. Machete and fishing rod. Fishing. Fishing. Ah. Got one. So, I guess it might be enough. Oh. Well, Cam, this be of any use? <coughs> I haven't used it for a while. Who knows if it works? So how do you think that we're supposed to get to this treasure or so? Surely you don't want to go by foot. You got an alternative? Well, I surely don't want to go by foot. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait a sec, wait a sec. How much dough have you got on you? Five hundred dollars. Well, not much. But um, for 500 bucks and 10% of the deal, my friends, I will find a solution for you to go through the jungle without walking. Any faster, Captain? No, here, sir. The currents are too strong. Plus, this section I live in is full of danger. Besides, we'd just be wasting fuel, we would. You'll have to get used to being more cautious, sir. Around here, it's a virtue necessary for survival. Get there in a couple of hours. Thank God for that. This heat is getting unbearable. Well, you better get used to it, Professor. Welcome. Welcome to the mission of San Rolando. How is this? Just a little community, but strangers are always welcome. You must be just passing through, I suppose. My name is Graziani, and this is my niece, Michela. This is Mr. Rupert, <laughs> Professor Clausewitz, our two scientists who are accompanying us in our expedition. And uh, we were wondering if we could rest here tonight, and we'll continue on in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry, but we're not organized to receive tourists. We can put them at Marisol's house, and then we have Father also some Father Sachs rooms. Ah, uh, yes, you are right, my girl. You are very lucky. There's no problem, at least for tonight. Uh, Marisol, could you escort our guests, please? Uh... <laughs> Excuse me, Father. Is that Raphael? Oh, no. That is Father Torment. The name suits him well. We've had a few problems with him recently and had to take some precautions. Do you know Father Raphael? No, not personally, but uh, we've had the chance to admire his paintings. Uh, we would like to meet him. But of course, you'll meet him tonight, during the fiesta. Uh, you will come, won't you? Uh, come, let us all. <laughs> ah. <laughs>
even smoked a cigar like this for years. We can't find good ones like this around these parts. Thank you, Mr. Gacciani. Thank you. Thank you very much. Father, <laughs> allow me to present you with the entire box as a token of your hospitality. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Ah, oh. oh, thank you. Ah. You shouldn't smoke like a chimney at your age. Keep quiet, woman. The Lord has sent me this gift. So let me enjoy it. <laughs> and you shouldn't drink so much either. I'm surrendering to temptation today. Pure malt scotch whiskey, a real marvel. There's enough for everybody. You're a real gentleman, Mr. Graziani. I love generous people. And so, why don't behave like him from time to time, Scotsman? Oh. Why don't you mind your own business, woman? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we have to get up very early tomorrow. You're right, Skinny. Thank you, Father. It was a lovely evening. <laughs> Father, forgive us, but we are also very tired. Oh, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, very good night. A very good night. Villa in Palm Beach. It'll have a big, beautiful indoor swimming pool. And consider I'll have a private landing pad for my helicopter from my private company. My ocean cruiser instead will have uh, at least 27 cabins. The minimum necessary for my Closest friends. What? Myers! I will go around the world over and over again. And of course, I will keep my Rolls Royce on board. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I guess by this time, you will have spent my 10% as well. Boys! You are totally useless, so why don't you go to sleep and let me work in peace, okay? Good night. Maybe we should add a couple of horse stables. No. <laughs> what would that add up to? Well, at least $10 million, more or less. $10 million. Mm -hmm. Then how much will we have left over? How the hell should I know? What do we have to know with the treasuries? You don't think that Father Raphael ripped us off, do you? No. I'm finished. So what do you think of that? Huh. Zach! Yeah. Come here! What's up? What's up? Have a look. 
<laughs> and just where do you think we are going with that? You can go everywhere. degrees north and then you turn left 20 degrees east and then we're just over i got it but did sogresta show you how to work in this contraption the same thing we see is working very well doesn't take a genius. All you have to do is remember the gas bubble and a pack of matches. How long does it take? Well, if the wind holds up, by lunchtime we'll be at the mission. You can still find unknown animal species nowadays. We can go upriver for a couple of hours before the rapids. You tell me when you wish to stop for lunch. We don't want to stop, Captain. Let's go as far as we can go. We'll eat on the way. As you prefer. What exactly is the big hurry? This morning we got up so early we didn't even get a chance to talk to Father Raphael. On the contrary. You can talk with him whenever you like. I don't understand. Father Raphael is our guest, my dear. He came along with us. He's down below, resting. He's a little bit hungover from yesterday. When we stop, I'd like to go for a walk in the jungle. Will you come with me, Professor? Oh, my pleasure, my dear. I need to stretch these old bones myself. Me, Father Zach, I can't remember anything. Well, so, can you explain? El Diablo, El Diablo. I told them before, but nothing. Men never listen. <sighs> I see with great pleasure there is nothing changes around here. Mm. Opita. So? We celebrated last night. Some gentlemen arrived from the city on their way to an expedition in the forest. What gentlemen, Opita? Three scientists and a blonde girl. Huh. 
For a moment, I feared uh, for Father Rafa. Oh, the door! Close the door! Close the thing. Where, where is Father Rafa? Careful now, the jungle's full of dangers. Anitas. Anitas! Go fetch the monk. Now, we gotta fix those two guys. I want you to tie them up, because I want to find them here when I come back. I hope that your stay on the boat has not been too unpleasant. We have admired your paintings, especially the one of the Christ without the cross. We would like to go to that place, but we need your cooperation. We could be very, very generous to you. What do you say? Do you accept to take us? I think we have a courageous and uncorruptible man in front of us. I don't think he's going to talk to us. Come on, monk. Let's see if your tongue gets untied. Hmm? Find it, Professor. My father was sure he would. He was convinced he was this far away from finding the treasure. It was only now I realized his great intuition. Back then I thought he was just a dreamer. Professor, I never asked you before. Why weren't you on the plane with my father that day? Oh, it was just a coincidence. Your uncle called me back to the camp to decipher some of the scriptures we had seen the day before. It seemed like an important find. It was due to him that I owe my life. <laughs> What do we do now? Remain calm. And let's hope he's already eaten. Oh, we're so stupid not to have brought any weapons with us. Okay, let's not panic. Let's start moving that way. Very slowly, without moving, turning up next to him. Good. Now choose. You prefer talking or being served for dinner to those big lizards? <laughs> Come on, speak up. <laughs> Down. <laughs> hey, so? Speak up. Professor, look! What's going on? We can't go back on board. We've all been deceived. That Rupert is a bandit. No, no, no. My uncle's in danger. We have to save him. Don't do anything silly. We don't have any weapons. We're more useful to him if we're free. Go, speak up! They kidnapped Father Raphael. And when they reached their goal, he won't be of use anymore. So, they'll kill him. I'm sure. We have to save him at all costs. Come down now. Let's try to be more reasonable. We're talking about a group of scientists. 
We'll find them. Yeah, but how will we find them if we don't know where they were going? Zach, what did uh, those paintings represent? A Christ without a cross uh, in the middle of the jungle with uh, an ancient idol. That painting represents the legendary sacred place linked to the story of Brother Bartholomew. But uh, none of you know where Brother Raphael was going before he disappeared in the jungle? No, he didn't tell anyone. Well, of course not, he's dumb. But every other time before he left, he spent hours in the library. Which library? Bartolome this, Bartolome that. Excuse me, Father, who is this Bartolome? We've never met him. That would be difficult. He died five centuries ago. He's the founder of this mission. <laughs> That's why I told you. <laughs> so he was the one that stole the treasure, huh? Are you joking? He protected it from the Spanish soldiers. He understood that gold could corrupt the Christian world, and so he hid it in the forest. At least that is what the legend says. Excuse me. Oh, we won't find anything here. It's useless. It's just when man feels lost and discouraged and is ready to give up that the Lord comes to help him. What's this? Uh, it's a compass. It's yours, Father? No. Oh, really? Don't tell me if this is the treasure of man. It's a question of faith. Brought everything? Of course, also, of course. I don't know how to thank you for what you are doing. Please bring us back, Father Raphael, safe and sound. With the help of the Lord. If you are in danger, you must wear these. It's the only protection against the Nicoya warriors. Thank you, Father, but. I hope we won't have to wear these. This is not exactly the same as teaching, uh, teaching archaeology in a classroom. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? Oh, don't tell me you're scared. Yes. Well, you don't need to. Just stay near me. Ah! Miss Michaela? Professor! Miss Michaela! Professor! Ah! Professor! Move your foot! You're stepping on my hand! Ah. Ah! 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 Ah!
I found my safe on the boat. We must keep our eyes open. Are you sure we are going the right way, Mark? What's wrong, Mr. Graziani? Worried? I think we should have left someone on the boat to guard those two. At least strong people to carry the treasure back. No problem. Have locked them up in the hold. I thought you were worried about your niece and the professor. Without word of food. They'll be dead by now. I think it will be a problem to find the treasure without Professor Claudine. We've got the book and the man. We'll do without him. If I have to die, I prefer that I die in my sleep. But now that we've lost our friend's traces, we must at least find a safe shelter for the night. No, no, no. We got some now. I don't care anymore. I don't have the strength. No. This is the only way to keep the snakes away and to avoid the traps. Feel too good. <laughs> Look at this beautiful landscape. Uh. 45 degrees north. We're proceeding straight to our objective. Come on, give me a hand. This contraption is starting to go down. What do I have to do? You are the expert. Give me, give me a match to start with. A match? What do you mean, match? You say, remember two things, gas and matches. That's what you well, say. Yeah, but I forgot the match. Is that a problem? Ah, no problem. There's only one solution. Throwing down the ballast. Ah, but, but you're heavier than me! Zach! 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 You still alive? Yes! Also! I'm here! I'm alive! Oh! Oh, I could have broken my neck! Mirrors, necklaces, rollers, bow pen. Well, what the hell do you do with all this stuff? Didn't you read the story of Christopher Columbus? With one hand, you give roller, with the other, you take jewels. What's a box of matches? Too heavy? I bet you forgot the sandwiches as well. Look properly. Hey, are you coming to eat or you prefer hugging that zombie? Zombie? Yeah. <laughs> zombie!
come on. How are you? I won't make any rice bowls. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. You've been very unlucky. Among all the dangers of this jungle, you have met with the world. <laughs> uh, you've been fascinated in bringing a priest with you. Duval, that is me. Never denies the time for confession. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start from you, Amigo. You seem to be the most dangerous. Wait. Wait a moment, Mr. Duval. I don't think that's such a good idea for you to kill me. What are you hoping for? Do you want to convince me not to kill you? Why? Right? Betty succeed. Probably those two had nothing to offer you in exchange for the head. What about you? Keep your mouth shut! I'm scared, Professor. Oh, fear is nothing but an instinctive impulse. It can be taken care of by reason. And what you must do is convince yourself that there is no danger here. At least I managed to make you smile. It's funny, but in all the years of study and research, I still feel weak and defenseless in front of nature. I'm scared, too, to think that any ignorant native could sleep very soundly under these wonderful skies. It's the anxieties of modern life that transform themselves into ghosts when we're alone. Professor? I really am seeing ghosts. Ghost? <laughs> Are we dead by any chance? I don't think so. Come on, come on with us. I told you we'd meet again. <laughs> <laughs> it can do it, Mark. They tied us up too tight. Ah, oh, they left us here to rot, the bastards. We're doomed to a most frightful death. Don't lose your fight, Scotchman. We have to find a solution while we still have our strength. Maybe a nail, a piece of glass. Anything chopped to cook these ropes. We'll never make it, my friend. Hawkeye, how many years have we been together? A lifetime, Captain. I, a lifetime. Well, I can say I'm proud and happy to die with you. Hold on, Captain. We, we've been through a lot together, my friend. But this time, I can feel it in my bones. We've had it, lad. I, I'm truly sorry. And to think, I, I recently decided to make him a partner. Well, not a full partner, but a partner, more or less. Then we really are about to die. Shh. Get back. Farewell, partner. <laughs> the Lagoyas! How did you find us? Fate, my dear, wouldn't you say? We practically fell on top of your head. Weren't you some kind of monks the last time we saw you? <laughs> In our spare time, yes, but actually we are explorers. Did you ever see Indiana Jones? <sighs> it's not wise for you to go around the jungle at night on our... Don't you think so, Professor? We had no choice. We had to run away. The members of the expedition rebelled against Mr. Graziani. Ruthless characters. Are you looking for the treasure as well? No. We are here to save our friend. Our friend's name is uh, Father Raphael. He's a painter. Well, he's been taken by Rupert and his men as well. They're going to force him to show them where the treasure is. That's my father's play. No, no. Please, please, please. Why? No, because... It's not a pretty sight. Please, don't. She adored her father. She never quite got over this terrible accident. It wasn't an accident, Professor. 
Somebody loses the fuel connection. Professor, we have to get going. If they find the treasure before us, Father Raphael is done for. What about that boy? How will you know where to go? Others have tried before you. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Well, we must look for it anyways. Zach. <gasps> this is the original. Where did you get it? <laughs> you have no time to explain now, Professor. Do you feel up to come with us? Well, the girl is tired, but she is strong, and I would not miss this finding for anything. And besides, I could be useful. Okay. You must move as soon as possible. We go find uh, food and water. We'll be back in a while. I take this, Professor. Let's go, Jack. This is why I love the city. You're hungry, in two seconds you can have a smoking hot hamburger. You are tired of walking, and the nice cab stops uh, right in front of you. We're thirsty, and there's so many cozy little bars where you can get anything you want day or night. So why are we still stuck in the jungle? Actually, we fell down in it. All because uh, of a match. See how life is? It just takes a match. Hey, quiet. How would you like to have a roast toucan instead of a hamburger? Hey, what are you waiting for? Shoot! With what? I only got one bullet. One match, one bullet. Perfect. Half of the scientists in Europe have been searching in vain in the hope of finding such a precious document. And those two take it out of the backpack like it was a piece of tissue. Who are they? Where do they come from? Do you think we can trust them? We probably owe them our lives. Only yesterday we were lost in the jungle with no hope. Totally terrified. And we're not frightened anymore. They are a bit strange, those two. Every time they appear, something extraordinary happens. Go on. Well, just give me a minute. Also? Zach? Ah! Help! Help! You've done it. It's me, Kevin. my foot. We mustn't uh, lose their tracks. Quick, let's go. Time for your games. You had your chance, and you missed it, German. <laughs> Jose, Hernandez, these four are our guests. It's time to move up. It didn't do any good to betray us. Damn you, Rupert. <laughs> oh, it's be only a matter of seconds. You can take my words for it. Igual, mira lo que encontramos. Miquela! Is he your professor? Yes, it's him. Well, we are now all here. I thought I'd never see you again. 
Thank God you're safe and sound. Now we have another problem. <laughs> did you see what he did to her? I'll kill the swines. With only one bullet. A hell of a massacre. Calm down, calm down. So, Professor, will you finally lead us to this treasure? I, I, I don't know where it is. We came to look for it. Don't no, ever dare to make a fool out of me. Can you read French? Take the book. It's in his bag. This is a stupid legend. And you think we came all the way out here for a stupid legend? The treasure exists. And I can take you to it. Don't try to pull my leg, German. Or you'll kiss my ass. What do you think is going on now, Orso? Nothing. We have only another player in the treasure hunt. <sighs> it's worse than a New York marathon. <laughs> With a little difference, no one gets uh, to the finish line. <sighs> Farewell, Mr. Gaziani. Didn't pay me all that well after all. <laughs> Miguel, keep an eye on them and treat our guests well. Tan muy guapa la chica. Don't touch her, you bastard! I'm gonna blow so long. Dale duro, Miguel, dale duro. <laughs> No! No! Why don't you touch me, bastard? No! Even an unloaded gun can hurt. <laughs> we owe you our lives. Thank you. Forget it, Mr. Graziani. This is no time of thinking. Zack! <sighs> Tie this man up. Okay. I'm a guy like you ended up in a such a shit hole. What do you mean? A guy like me is very useful around these parts. Do you know who is Tifal? Hmm? German? He's a guy with balls who shot two cops, dropped five bunks, and he's wanted all over the world. It's because he's a killer. German. <laughs> I am the most worth trusty man to send around these parts. And my friends know it. They pay me well. It's not a bad job. Not a bad job. I don't envy you, you know. That's not worth much around here. <laughs> Yours is not worth very much either at the moment. How much longer to this pleasure? Not much. I've already told you. 
This is the one who knows the precise spot. Monk! Hey, Monk! Where is your treasure? Frenchman, your trip is here. Mr. Graziani, are you sure that it was worth achieving this expedition at all costs? Finding the treasure by telling me the Las Casas has been a fixed idea in my family for many years. My brother, he died for it. And maybe the same will happen to me. Don't you think you've gone a bit too far? Kidnapping Father Rafael could get you a few years in prison. That wasn't my idea. When I understood Rupert's intentions, I tried to stop him. But he was a changed man. You saw it for yourself. He would have sacrificed all of us just to reach the treasure. I should have not trusted such a man. And as a scientist, well... He's a dreamer. He hasn't got the chance. That Duval doesn't share anything uh, with anybody. You are mistaken, Father Orso. Rupert has unexpected resources. We must find them immediately. Professor Klauschwitz and Father Raffaello's lives are worthless in the hands of that monster. find the entrance. A cave or a hole in the ground or something like that. I need more time to understand it. Time for interpretations. It's all up! Damn it, Mark, you have seen that idol. Where that is it? Where? I tell you, you took pieces if you don't take me to where the idol is. You stop it! You bloody murderer! Make a move! I'll kill you! Well, well, well. This is a wonderful surprise. Finally, we are all here. Even Howard from that monks are here for the same reason. And this is one more problem. Isn't it, Graziani? You're the only problem here, you traitor. I see. You've gone back on the good side. I've told it doesn't make any difference to me. Benedict, kill them all! If he shoots, I kill you. And you, your murder at instant would come out. Did you tell our pro Michaela how you killed her father? Huh? No! It is not true! No. Well, well, well. What a 
surprise. What are you going to do now? Kill us all? But you need us to find the treasure. You're thinking of that. <laughs> you are mistaken, because I already got my treasure. Without you, Miquel, soon I will be the sole owner of Graziani Enterprises. Before now, my brother, your father, had everything. He had success. He had a loving wife, a beautiful family. And in my heart, I knew our parents loved him more than me, because they would always, always say to me, why can't you be more like your brother? Why can't you be more successful? It was always all over this, all over that. Your father, my brother, I hated him! <laughs> it was so simple. All we had to do was find the lever. The iron that tortured our Lord to transform itself into gold. It was so clear. All we had to do was read between the lines. Condemned in hell to be the one who violates the secret before a thousand is no longer a thousand. <laughs> oh, quick, quick. Let's put this on. Remember what Father Campana said. you have also found the treasure, the lost treasure of Brother Bartholomew. I think about him. Nobody told me we looked so much alike. Oh, don't exaggerate now. There's only a, a vague resemblance. A vague? This guy think I am the reincarnation. Father Zach, you're so handsome. Father Zach is very popular. In a spiritual sense, of course. Oh, of course, Professor, of course. Orsha! Zack! Oh, I'm so happy to see you both safe and sound. We, too, owe our lives to the Nicoya. I had already called the police. I was about to lead them into the jungle to look for you two. Fathers, you have achieved something great. And now, with your permission, Reverend Fathers, in the name of our government, the Maya treasure has now been entrusted to me. Here is your receipt.
forbidden dream. We are penniless once again. I will always be grateful to you. That's great. You'll end up in history books. Science will always be in your debt. Science do. But th there'll be a plate with your names on in the world's largest archaeology museum. My father's dream has come true thanks to you. Aren't, aren't you happy? Hey! Buckway. Why don't you mind your own business? <laughs> One thing's for sure, you and money never get it together. What about you? That's for me? Yeah. Well, I look toward the future, my friend. <laughs> the partners, yeah. aren't we, Zach? I am proud of you, brothers. <laughs> Zach! No! No, Zach, no! They unite together. Friends? Friends. <laughs> <laughs>